These days, pros have a special way of wearing their socks, and today, I'm going to teach you just how you can do that. So today, I'm going to be showing you the process of how you can wear whatever socks you want to and at the same time, seem like you're wearing your team socks. Simply put, this is how pros are able to wear things such as grip socks and still be in their full team kit. Before we get too far into the video, I want to remind you guys to subscribe and like the video if you enjoy this kind of content. And sorry we've been gone for a while, but we're back. Step number one is you're going to take your sock of choice and put that on as if you're wearing it in any other scenario. Step number two is going to be a little bit more complicated depending on your resources. If you're like me and you're available to purchase one, you should buy what is called a tube sock. I use a brand called Pure and I'll link them down below if you guys are interested in picking up a pair. But basically what it is, is the calf and um, shin portion of the sock without the actual foot part. If you have a tube sock, then you're simply going to slide that over your crew sock or grip sock and you're pretty much good to go. If you don't have a tube sock, however, things get a little bit more complicated. If you don't have a tube sock, what you're going to have to do is cut your own. To do this, you have to take your team sock or long sock of choice and simply cut around the ankle area. The keys for this is you want to keep it above the actual ankle joint um, because otherwise your ankle joint kind of pops out compared to the rest of your leg and it's going to cause the material to fray a bit. And also to keep the material from fraying, you want to cut an area without any texturing or patterns or something like that. So find a smooth area on the sock and just cut a straight line. It doesn't need to be slanted, nothing like that, just a straight line across the sock. After you've done this, you're done and that's all you had to do, except that over time, in comparison to a tube sock, your self-made tube sock might start to fray. To help stop this and to tighten it at the bottom, you're gonna use what's called tape. Personally, I use Premier Sock Tape because it's more of a wrap it's softer, it's less adhesive, so it doesn't pull on the strands of the sock. But if you want to use typical sock tape that's more sturdy and more, and is a little thinner, more like a typical tape, then by all means, you can use that. Simply tie this around the area connecting your tube sock to the crew sock and you're all good to go. Some people like to use tape on tube socks that they bought. And while I think that it can work, I don't see the point of using it. Again, it's a personal preference thing, but it's not necessary. At this point, you're all done and it should look pretty okay. A few tips are, number one, when you're buying the grip socks, don't buy them in the same color as your team socks. Either buy them in black or white. No matter what, a ref won't get mad at you if the ankle portion of your foot is black or white. But if it was something like yellow or pink, they might get a little more frustrated. Also, if you can't find tape that is the same color as the actual tube sock, then make sure it matches the crew sock. This way, it looks a little bit more normal. And those are both personal preference things, but it is something that referees might get mad at you if your colors are really mismatched. So a lot of you might be saying, well, why would I do this anyway? It seems like a lot of work and you don't really get that much out of it, except you get to wear the same socks you wear to school. Well, in my opinion, it makes quite a bit of a difference. Personally, I like training in grip socks. I find that it enhances the experience of playing. It reduces that little bit of slippage in some cleats. And I really just like the experience of that stability. So of course, if I practice in grip socks, I want to play games in grip socks as well. And this is how you do that. Another thing is your shin guards. A lot of people don't like wearing shin guards because they slide around and they're annoying. And I hear those complaints pretty much every single day. But by using this technique, it helps your shin guards stay in a little bit better. The tape itself will help hold your shin guards up. And the fact that it's not one material is going to do that as well. Of course, guys, this is all personal preference. You don't have to do this. It's not a necessity. It's just something I've been doing and I wanted to share with you guys um, of how you can do it too. I see a lot of people doing this, but they're not necessarily doing it correctly either. So I wanted to put that out there for them. Again, if you guys are interested in some grip socks or some tube socks, I will link a few websites down below if you want to check that out. And with that all being said, guys, I will see you in the next video. Later. Not all of them paid off, but I'm still here. No days off to my kids a millionaire. Yeah, I roll the dice, see where life takes me. I've been feeling down on these nights lately.